Let's take an opportunity now to define an event-based integration. Real-time integration is based on a service-oriented architecture, and it allows for event-based integrations to occur in response to irregularly occurring external events. Typically, these event-based integration processes are not executed on a schedule. Instead, once executed, an event-based process will continuously listen for the occurrence of a specific event. The occurrence of the event will trigger processing. Web service publishing is one part of this. Atomsphere can help you accomplish your web service publishing needs, and it can act as the web service tool between any number of systems. The supported web service options are REST API, SOAP API, HTTPS, and WSDL Publishing. Let's examine the capabilities Atomsphere has in regard to real-time integration. Atomsphere works with multiple process requirements. We can handle any combination of small, frequent, or high-volume executions. It also has the ability to be the web service itself or publish a WSDL. We use our web services connectors to fuel our event-based solutions, allowing our users to trigger Atomsphere executions from outside the tool without the need for a schedule. And finally, Atomsphere can act as an embedded web server for larger scale SOA needs. Let's examine exactly how Atomsphere fits in. Examining this simple network structure, we can begin to understand what Atomsphere can do. In this system, we're using an external CRM, Salesforce. We're also using ADP for payroll and HR management and Oracle for storage. We want information to pass through these applications easily, but we also understand we may want to add new or other applications in the future. With Atomsphere in the middle, we can access these web service tools and integrate them easily. By publishing web services on the front end of these systems, real-time processing is achieved. And this allows for quick ramp up times when changing systems, and it doesn't force a user to stick with legacy systems. Because we're not writing proprietary code or adding EAI packages, we can help to keep the cost down. A couple of features available to help manage your system. In Atomsphere, we have the real-time and HTTP dashboards, which provide a web-based interface for process management. The low latency is a feature uh, process option that can be toggled on or off to help increase execution speed. The Atom Worker is a dedicated uh, worker to processing live event-based requests on the Atom. The real-time dashboard displays aggregated low latency process execution information rather than reporting information about every execution of a low latency process. The summary information appears on the real-time dashboard rather than on the manage section of the process reporting page. This information will be retained for 30 days. And when a low latency process generates a warning or an error, then a more detailed view will be available on the process reporting page. You can also view low latency process error messages and logs, just as you would for a non-low latency process. On the HTTP status dashboard, you can view a summary of the logs on a particular atom or environment during a specified period of time. These logs cannot be viewed in other displays like process reporting or the real-time dashboard, but they are available in the shared HTTP server logs. 
The codes are standard HTTP stand status codes. The HTTP stat status dashboard page is divided into two sections called gadgets, and these display a status code summary and status codes by time. The low latency process option is recommended for web server and event-based processes. It helps to achieve faster performance. So a low latency process will not track as much information as a traditional process. Request or response data is not rec recorded. So you cannot view request or response data and you cannot retry a low latency process. Process metrics are not recorded in the view process state dialog, but the process log is available. The inbound data's document logs are disabled. The low latency option for processes often increases the speed a process executes, but it does so at the expense of logging the various process states. This allows the process to execute mainly in memory where transformations and other steps can execute quickly. An Atom Worker is a reserved resource in the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud dedicated to real-time processing requests for a given account. The Atom Worker is available only through the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud. As mentioned earlier, the Web Services Server Connector allows customers to turn any integration process set up in Atomsphere into a web service that can be deployed on our Atom Cloud or on-premise. All web services are managed from one central location from the Dell Boomi Atomsphere to help extend and strengthen existing governance policies. The connector is the component inside Atomsphere that users configure to build their web service processes. The web service server is designed to manage these types of requests. An asynchronous request does not require a response from the system, while a synchronous request is looking for a response. A single SOAP contains one XML file while a multi-SOAP contains one to an infinite number of XML containers. A RESTful request builds the appropriate data into the URL, and a trigger allows a system to ping Atomsphere from an external application to start a process. Shared web server settings are controlled at the Atom, Molecule, or Cloud level under Atom Management. And these settings determine what type of requests can be made. The API type must be set to intermediate when using the web services server operation. With the API type set to intermediate, only specific users can hit the API. The available endpoints are shown here. Finally, under user management, users can be added, passwords generated, and process filtering can be enabled. To learn more about web services, visit the Dell Boomi community, enter the Knowledge Center, and watch the video, Getting Started, Introduction to Publishing Web Services. You can also install and review from the process library, Web Services Publishing Basic Examples.